Hello and welcome to a Paradise Lost podcasting channel. My name is Brendan and I'll be your storyteller for the evening. Well, you all knew it was coming. It's time to get a third game up and running and for that we did a relatively quick Iron Kingdoms game. Iron Kingdoms is a steampunk fantasy setting which has not only a tabletop game but also two separate war games. It is a world at war with massive robots called Warjacks that fight for ma the mages that control them. It is a place of trolls, goblins, elves, dwarves, and humans who wage eternal nationalistic wars. In this game, we have Christina playing Veleth, the Iosian duelist gun mage, and her twin brother Heleth, the mage slayer, played by Ryan. Gidget, the goblin sewer pirate, played by Brit, and her best friend, big thick troll captain Kaiju, the leader of the Black Skulls mercenary company, played by Mori. Hess, the Dwarven Alchemist, played by Katie, and the Dread Pirate Phineas Shackleford, played by Jake. Finally, we have a Signarin Stormsmith, played by Taylor, who will eventually switch to the Iosian Highwayman, Vexigan. Welcome, friends, to Iron Kingdoms, Adventures of the Black Skulls. Episode 1, I Love the Smell of Burrowmog in the Morning. So this game is going to follow the Black Skulls Mercenary Company, which currently finds itself in Merwin, the once former capital of Lael, which is now under control of the Kadoran military. Um, while many pe new people migrate here from other parts of Kador, the Lael resistance has grown in numbers in this area, as this is the most pressing theater for them. Basically, um, any of the people who come here who represent the Lael Resistance are, like, their top Resistance people. And even then, their casualties are... They, they still get caught fairly often. Um, along with this, um, it is rumored that Signar does have spies uh, in here. And it's unclear whether or not that they're working with the Resistance to retake Merwin for Lael or for themselves. I'm totally for themselves. So... Yeah. Right now, the group finds themselves having taken a relatively low-paying job, but for good reason, because out of character, I want to get you guys used to combat, because not everyone has uh, has played this game before. Yeah, it's, it's going to get spicy real quick. So, what you guys are doing is um, one of the local... Bar owners, um, uh, Hone Arno, who's a woman who runs the Bronze Mug in Merwin, has basically said, hey, I will give your entire company free room and board for two months and 40 gold a person if you go and do this. What that she's asked you to do is um, there has been a... There's been a large pack of barrow mogs um, out on the fields, basically um, eating up the livestock. Barrow mogs are like badger sized flesh eating creatures. Yeah, they're, they're annoyed. As, okay. as the barrow mogs so right are now, here, what is the me? current my weather? Not my, my the current weather is a nice, uh, is, a, uh, is a sunny day. Did we know we were coming to deal with these burrow mugs ahead of time? Yes. Then may I make a Star Wars Mythic roll to fix Your that? Your strength plus a three. So I'm very Ooh. unfamiliar with Storm Smiths. Star Wars roll. I make a... Okay. Storm Smithing <laughs> skill roll against a target number, mm -hmm. depending on what I'm trying to do. Like I'll give it to you this way. A 20 is Hurricane Force Winds. And okay. I'm to go with that. Okay. It's basically, I believe the usual target number is about 12. Mm -hmm. To make a basic just thunderstorm in the area. Okay. All oh, right, because you use lightning as a weapon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. If you want to do that, um, since you guys had time to prepare, uh, I'm not going to give you guys like a 
they've got a decent amount of, like, detect and everything. So, like, it's kind of like you guys are meeting, meeting as it, like, they're still kind of like... No sneaking up. There's no sneaking up on them right now, because we're... we're kind of, I'm, I'm kind of... We're kind of learning the game right so now. that will be a 15. Have a thunderstorm in here. As it... Yeah, well, as it, you're approaching, I guess you're doing your storm smithing thing. Yeah. Uh, there's a thunderstorm now in the area. Well, thunder is rolling overhead. Um... It's a just a little storm. I'm not going to go with uh, Raider. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I guess that we're going to go with rolling initiative, like standard, um, which I believe is 2d6 plus your initiative. 2d6 plus your initiative, unless you have the uh, archetype benefit that states otherwise. So, what is everybody's initiative? I got a 24. I got 23. 19. Okay, give me just a second. Ryan got a 24, Britt got a 23. What did you get, Katie? <laughs> what? What happened? It's really good. It's called. And then I rolled two sixes. And then I got a boosted. Because you have preternatural awareness. Well, yeah, preternatural awareness oh, fucking play. basically makes the win in its general almost every time. Hey, it's okay. I rolled a two and a three. <laughs> <laughs> well, I rolled a one and a three. Okay, and then Jake is... Oh, Taylor, what did you... 26. 26. 22. Okay, that's okay. That means one of my officers is going first. We're all good. Okay, so um, top of the initiative is actually Katie. Chelsea, please. So what you want to do? Throw a grenade in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, does not grenade. have the range for grenade. You need a grenade. I have a repeating rifle. Okay, what's the range on? 84 to 420 feet. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna shoot. The alpha, that one. Alpha? The alpha on the right. This okay, one. the one with all the with all the sword guys. Yeah, yeah. fancy cape one. Yeah. That'll be two oh, six. Fancy cape one. Plus your rat. Five and five ten. That's right. That's that's what yeah. rat's with. Um, yeah. Yeah. Give me just a second. I know, I hear rat, also I was like, yes, you're beating somebody with a rat. You're <laughs> shooting rats from the rifle. Rifle. Yes, you're shooting rats from the rifle. And Matt's, you're beating somebody with a door hit, I guess? What's that? Okay. Does a 10 hit their defense? A 10 to hit their defense? Yeah, it does it. Yeah. Um, no, it does not, a 10 does not hit their defense. Alright, I'm gonna do... Are you skilled, or...? Um... Okay. Skilled and Aww. I have dual shot, so I can forfeit my movements to take another one. Oh no. So we'll go with your dual shot shot. So just two d six and wrap again. One four, and four, four no, one seven worse. nine. Nope, does not hit. And then so you then just like shoot down. off both things, and it, the thing kind of like perks up and looks at you and like growls. Mm-hmm. And you have definitely caught this thing's attention. Gonna make your actual second attack a skill, huh? What? So you're gonna make another attack since you're skilled. You get an extra attack. Yeah. Wasn't that what that was? That was dual shot, which uh, if you sacrifice your movement, you get to fire twice for the same attack action, but you can only do that once around. Hmm. So basically, they get three shots if they don't move. <laughs> so you can get a third shot. Just make sure you keep track of your ammo. Yep, that's why I pulled that part. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's why we have. All right, nine. fourteen. That, I believe, does hit it. Yes, that does hit it. So, so now you roll your damage. 2d6 plus the pow of the rifle. 10 plus 10, 20. Okay, so... Subtracted armor, and that's the first damage that actually takes. Okay, that motherfucker goes down as you, like, just blast it in its head, and it just, like, brains go onto that its dudes. Wait. There's now a corpse. Dead bodies everywhere. Corpse tokens are great, especially if you have necromancers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Both so words. next right. up on that list is going to be Taylor. Well, I have line of sight on all of them. Neat. Uh, the other Big bomb. Alpha. Yep. I'm going to strike him with a uh, lightning bolt. Eat this page. Um, big one. Out thirteen. So what I need you to do is take whatever its defense is and add two. Okay. 18. Hits. Cool. 17 damage. So you're just like calling down lightning on it? Yep. 
So you call down a bolt of lightning on it, and it strikes this thing, and you can see that there's, like, smoke and, like, sizzling bits, like, rising off of it, and, like, but it's, like, staring at you now, as it has, like, no eyelids that you've burnt off, and it just looks fucking crazed. So, That's the funniest thing about eyelids. that... Standing there, literally holding a stick that has like a Tesla coil on the end, and a pocket watch, and he's just... <laughs> That's it. All I can do. It takes me a full action to do that. That's still pretty good. Yeah. That's it for me. I'm just <laughs> Next up is Ryan. What are you gonna do, Ryan? I'm gonna shoot the one he shot. <laughs> gonna shoot the one he shot? Okay. Are you in... Actually, a really good question is, uh, for you, what's the range on that? It's, uh, is it just battlefield or sight? It's if I can have line of sight on them, if I can see them, I can hit them. Okay. The only problem is outdoors. Outdoors. they have to be outdoors. If they're indoors, I can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, why okay. I have a pistol. So, um, you, you shot the other alpha? Yes. Okay, I'm fine. Oh god, please use this. Because <laughs> those are unreliable, because they're super soft. Mm-hmm. They're soft. Hold on, I'll get rid of this. Well, I'm not close enough to shoot anything. Um, you can shoot the corpse. You were close enough to that one. <laughs> so, you're so what, what was the range on your pistol? It's, uh, it's not a pistol. It's a cross. I'm here like, for you. The cross, 60. So, two or 10 inches. 10 inches? So, so you can move forward probably. How far do I move? I think it's your speed. Yeah. Speed. So, that'd be 6 inches. You can also just go straight through because they do not block your movement. Yeah, but I need to get slightly closer. That's fine. Now, he's in range. Pretty right, short. Sure. One good Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> pew pew. Okay. Roll roll it. Uh, the two d six plus rat. Do I still get All two shots with the crossbow? Are you using dual shot or are you skill? Skill. Then yes. Yep. Okay. It takes a quick action to reload. That's what I thought. Well, unless you have a repeating crossbow, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, box cut. Or not box Uh, eight plus six is fourteen. Hits. So that, since it's doubles, it gets me a feat. Oh, I'm sorry, Katie. Mark down a feat point for killing the alpha. Oh. Okay, you can only go to the next three. Oh, oh, okay. I am going to do this. I think it's the only one that can do anything with those. Team leader, if he picks up that ability. 20 damage. Ooh. 20? Damn. Okay, yeah, you just, like, you see this, like, sizzling barrow mog, like, snarling at him, and then just a crossbow bolt just right through the skull, and it just kind of, like, Falls. Okay, and then um, sometimes uh, skills, you skill, do get I will shoot at that dude because I think I'm close enough. I only have so many of these, so eventually we're just going to ignore it. <laughs> I figured um, we'd go for the big ones because those are more important. Eventually, we just six, nine. Does nine hit? Um, I need to double check, but I don't think that it does. Okay, then I'm going to burn a feet point and reroll. There you go. Uh, uh, no, it does not. Okay. Burn a feet point, reroll, and I got a ten. Should you get a feet point, but you are You got a 10 total? Yeah. Does not hit. I re-looked at all of my You can spend another feet point, we all get it if you want. Yeah, okay, why not? <laughs> These things do kind of get given out like candy. Like, there will be a point where they, like, stuff like there's, this, like the bear. 11. That's not hit. <laughs> like, you're going up! You're, you're <laughs> almost, you're almost there. There's no feet point out there. Oh my God. Nice and consecutive. Box yeah. I got two sixes. Yeah. Hell yeah! So, uh, Get your feet point back. Yeah, take a feet point back. And it's double sixes, so I don't have to worry about it doesn't hit, yeah. because it's double sixes. Yep. Okay. Well, in reality, all you see was one. Uh, yeah, 20 damage. damage. Uh, which one did you attack? That one. Yo, it, it, it just... So I get another feet point back. Are you going to get feet points to the regular burn logs? Oh, wait. Yes, for now, right. Cool, cool. Take it out. Check. Oh, we're gonna leave that one there because I don't have that many. Right, left hand is better. Only gate for somebody. Okay. Um. Brit. You know, female honey. Brit, it's your turn. I'm gonna do things. You're gonna do a thing that involves me getting close because I'm oh, no. not ranged. Oh, do it, Brit. If we both get in close, we both have gang. I know. <laughs> I was so excited when you said pirate. <laughs> Can't wait to see them get sucker. That's his new spot. All right. I mean, I do have a range weapon. I have an axe. He's getting sucked. So I guess I'm gonna move closer and. Okay. So move yourself closer. I can get closer and throw an axe. That's how far you can throw an axe. That's how far I can throw my throwing axe. That's fine because. 
you can move to the end of the tape measure and then see if there's anything with the range of that tape measure. So here's what I'm gonna do. So move your so Brett, you'd have to move yourself first. I know. I'm I'm trying to figure out which direction I want to go. Nothing is in range. I'm just gonna move. Well, that's outside of the oh, that's no, that's as far as you can actually throw yes, it. Yeah, you don't get any. You don't get an extreme range. I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna move there. Okay. Is that your turn? Yes. Uh, All right. So, <laughs> the first set of burrow mogs on the farthest set is, or on the farthest side, is going to go. They are all moving as a group towards us. Cool. They're in range. They are now. They are now. Take my hat. Next up is going to be Jake. Okay. Jake, since he doesn't know what he's going to do yet, is just going to go ahead and cast. I think this will help out. I is that the think spell? this will help. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know what it is, but I'll let you I was going to do boundless charge on um, our trollkin. Boundless okay. charge means they don't suffer. They gain plus terrain. two movement and pathfinder when it charges. So the plus two movement will help. Yep. That's why I wanted to cast it. So I'll okay. do. I have three focus, so it costs two. I'll give him boundless charge, so that gives you plus two movement, and that leaves me with one. Does this work like um, the tabletop does, where I can sit on them? Yeah, you can hold that one. Yeah, I'll sit well, on them. Well, you can hold that one, but then at the start of your next turn, you're back up to your maximum three. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I, but would it allow me to overboost or yes. suspend it on my? Um, yes, it does fo- allow you to overboost. As a focuser, you cannot go beyond your maximum. Yeah. It's yep. just that's forecasters. Yep. So if you have any any left, you over uh, not over boost. Yeah, I was sorry. asking like, would I over boost and up my armor stat, or do I have to spend a point to activate? <laughs> my armor. So if you're sitting on that one, yeah, that gives you one extra armor for right now. All right. Um, at the start of your next turn, you're back to three, three, and you'll be sitting on three armor next turn. So what I can do is, can I spend it to just activate my force field and get? Oh, it's already active. The no, force field is always active. Alright, then I'll sit on the one. So what's your current armor? Um, to be determined? Or? I haven't done the math on it yet, but give me a second. So it'd be physique plus whatever your armor is plus one. Yeah. Uh, it would be five plus light armor. Which would be, I think, five or six. I think it's a six. So that'd be eleven to twelve, technically, so you're currently sitting on. Yeah, I can take but either medium or light. I thought light made sense for a pirate. Okay, so you have Boundless Charge and Worry, or what's your character's name? Kaiju. Troll. Yeah. Captain, Kaiju. Captain Kaiju has Captain Boundless is Charge. Very important. And I get plus one armor for sitting on focus. Mm-hmm. We're our own captains in a different way. Captain. Move up uh, six inches. This one stole my Okay, so you have light forecast armor? One thingy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Five? So you're. It's going to be ten Which plus ten when you're sitting on to eleven. Jake. Eleven? Okay. Which way do you want to move? Like towards Brit. Like right there so would be five. Light. No, it would be six, so it'd be there. Yeah, if you had medium, your defense would go down by one, but you'd have armor of seven. Who's after Jake? After Jake is Who's going to be the burrow mogs that are represented by the zombies. Okay. So has Jake finished his turn? Yes. Okay. Me and my Brits. So Ryan killed. No, wait. Taylor killed the alpha. He nope. Killed I killed Ryan alpha. killed the alpha. He zapped it. I killed it. Ryan yep. is this guy. Yep. Death. It comes. It comes. But not in the fun way. Nope. They're charging as a <laughs> unit. <laughs> it could be fun. I watched an Argus oh, charge. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, they're not act. They're. Not- because there is a thing. They're marching. They are thematically charging. Okay. They are not I'm actual charging. Charge. Guys, and one I shot. wanna I want you guys to imagine this. I'm in the front Ow. of the group. You as be. this tiny person yep. while there's all these vicious dog things coming. Uh, yeah. by the way, those Look, dog things are probably about you, the size of you. You, you yeah, were in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I was in front of you and then <laughs> you ran in front I of me. Whose fault is this? I need to get closer to attack. Sounds like a personal problem. It is. Sounds like you arranged. I'm tiny. Sounds like you should have gotten on my shoulder. So that sounds like. Uh, Britt, do you have a second? Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Huh? Can you get it the fuck together? (laughs) (laughs) There is a. I'm trying. Christina, it's your turn now. 
Oh, cool. It's I fine. Don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I, need, I need a sword uh, okay. right here in the other hand. But... None of them. Wasn't that one? It's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, the one that you killed. Yeah, looks the next one. Yeah, I killed that one. Yeah, they they've already taken out both the alphas. Oh, okay. Because we're assholes. The green ones are the alpha bodies. Your teamwork. You blew them up. I was I fried it. Yeah. And then I shot it in the face. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to help my little gobber friend. Yeah, you should do that. Gobber friend. Because it changes oh, you. Oh man, I should have been a fell blade. Okay. It takes you from skills you get. So I'm gonna take a shot and I'm gonna use. Fell blade. I'm more amazed you didn't pick Doom Reaver and then ask me if you could also oh, be a Doom Warcaster. Reaver. Yeah. No. So you said you get your back. I know. Back I let now, somebody right? do that for fun. God, no. What? You get your back in your back. Yep. Uh, the start of your next turn. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I may have run a butcher. Well, I'm gonna use accuracy, brutal, and thunderbolt. Yes. That's the play. Gun mage. So, so was that boosted? Spellcasters, next turn shot, range attack roll. Boost attack, boosted. boost damage, and they take they go back D three inches. Yeah. yeah. Because that thunderbolt was the D three inches. So okay. what I roll extra one to. So you will roll three to hit, three, three for, for damage. damage. Okay, that's what I thought. Yep. Which is the right thing. So Plus my favorite NPC eight, characters in Gun Match. Uh, oh my god. Like Who Alistair Kane? Right? Yes. Cool. So, uh, 15 to hit. So, this dude's really good, mixed with the spaghetti squash. I've not tried that yet. Ooh. I just put, like, a little bit of the spaghetti squash, and I, like, mixed it in the stew. It's dead. It's super dead. <laughs> I do want to point out, though, just for shits and giggles, roll me a d6. It was in a four one. So, it's going to move two inches directly away from, uh... So, it hits its it hits friend. <clears throat> It would. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pushed, it's pushed uh, D3 here. inches directly away here. from this target, yeah. and on a crit, it's knocked down, but it's not. Yeah, so it's it going to collide its with its friend. Yeah, but the corpse gets collided with its friend, which means that it takes collision damage. Uh, so that really? collision, are you doing POW 12 or are you doing POW 10? Uh, POW 10. Okay, so POW 10, 2D6. Just going to say it's your <laughs> oh damage roll, go for it. You killed two of them, I'm going to be so happy. So that, Is it? Because there's a six, push on the screen. 19. 19. Let me just look at their armor real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Your so, friend has In this system, is there a difference between it. push and slam? Because <laughs> slam, if you hit another unit, you took damage. Not push, you did not. Because <laughs> I know that, like, with thrown, you take damage. <laughs> so there's a slam roll and a push roll. Mm -hmm. Somebody slams, they're supposed to be slammed with, like, violent force. More and more, I look at this donut, push is more, more like, if you're pushed, you are not... not um, Subject to free strikes because it's involuntary movement. It's, on this, it doesn't mention anything about not taking collision. Okay. Collision damages, you collided with something, <laughs> that's it. Which also is great if you push somebody off a ledge. Uh, push power attack automatically hits and deals no damage. Both characters roll a d6 and. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking at 313 with. Sorry. Yeah, you're on, I think, Jax and that kind of thing. <clears throat> I'm looking at literal combat movements for push and slam because I'm looking at charge as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need you every time that's you how we've done it. You to wear a different unicorn. Use shirt. that, knock it into somebody. That's collision damage. I only have two. Damn it! I need one more. No, I just because I used to run um, uh, retribution and I used the mages a lot. Yep. And they're so strong. So we right. really but they on didn't. If you collided like, with mages, it was a push. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's going to. Um. So. <laughs> So, because it just says um, for push, slam specifically specifies that they take any damage from the slam based off of the ability or spell that got, that got cast on them. Did it have any uh, damage that it got said from the... Uh... From uh, Thunderbolt? Yeah, from... It just says target is push uh, D3. Because I want to say that there... Because I want to say that there is a gun mage ability that lets you push, throw, or slam. Uh, it's Thunderbolt, it just lets you push. Yeah. Right, but I'm saying that like if we're treating it because I'm I'm gonna just say that it basically it, it pushed the the corpse onto the thing, but it didn't do any damage. Okay. Right. Okay. There's just something you need to figure out. So collision, <laughs> you only worry about like somebody gets thrown. if someone gets thrown or slammed. Yeah. yeah, it's like collision damage at least for the tabletop was for thrown and slammed abilities, yeah. not for push abilities. The idea is it was supposed to be a difference between the force. All good. Okay, um, Christine, is that your turn? Yeah. Uh, I mean, exactly. I do my quick reload because I get a free action. What else can you do for a quick action? Cast a spell. Oh. Okay, then next time, next person, uh, last on initiative is going to be Maury. Yep. 
five. I got this. Um, so, Cat and Kaiju has his Orgrum. Orgrum? 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 That thing. The oh, thing. Run. The thing with the cleaver. Mm-hmm. And he is going oh, to charge for that group. Okay, where are you charging to? Into the middle. I don't fucking care. Well, you need a target. You need a target. Pick one. The so that one. one. Sure! Let's get this what bitch. What is yours? Because yeah. um, with it's yours, it's a plus, plus two. two. And with charge, it's three plus inches. Yeah, you already had... I'm just letting you know. Good. I'm, I'm doing the thing. Okay. okay. Are you needing yourself games? I am well, shoving my yeet- weight into them. Yeah, it's like eating as much as your yeet- people allow. <laughs> it's the... It's I use battle cry. Yeah, totally. Yeet. 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 Ye
play games okay. anyway. When you say that fast, it sounds like it says beat the beat. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Beat beat. Um, Mirror beat. So you said that hits? Yes, that would hit. And then let me roll to see how many others are getting hit. And it's going to be within four inches, so I'm going to have it jump to this one and then that one. Okay. So now I'm just going to roll my damage off. They each, take, they each take a power 10. Damn. 4, 5, 16 on the first guy. Dead. 15 on the second guy. Dead. Boxcars on the last guy. Dead. Oh. Super dead. <laughs> And well, then, we can't kill the well, I was going to run in there and be cool, but all right. I'm um, sorry, I already did that. You can't copy me, guys. You, okay, I got a posse behind me over here, and it's fucking great. Um, this for me and my second. gang over here. Four. So you're all, except for you two, are in my command hey, range. I ain't no gang with so a warcast that's human. I'm going I'm to give you a too. command, I'm, because I'm intellectual. Enjoy this. Kill them. You all get a plus one attack, plus one damage for all your attack damage. Plus one, two attack damage. Plus one, plus one, yep. Who? Except me, because I'm in Except you and except you. But yeah, you you don't out. need it. Yeah, we're out of the command range. I am okay. in command range. Plus one to... <laughs> plus one to attack rolls and so plus one to damage rolls until the start of my next I was turn. close enough to live people to hit. But, uh, they're all dead now. I, mean, I could well, move forward a little there's bit. There's another one. Also, I'm trying to see if they're technically alive. Let me, let me check something. Just so that way. With a hidden knife on the It's hand. your <laughs> turn, Ryan. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm going to leave you out of range. How does charge work? Uh, you charge in, you get, uh, with a three plus three inches. Three inches. <laughs> Some say that makes all the difference. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well. But be careful. You can still miss. Yeet! Oh God! <laughs> I killed my sibling. Don't kill your sibling. So you are actually the your sibling. Yes, yes, you are. All right. All right. I'm gonna stab the shit out of these two. Okay. Which one are you attacking first? The uh, first, first one will only be the will be the only one that gets charge damage. Okay. Pick so your pick target one. first. Okay. Now that was what you ran. Okay. Plus in a straight line. What's what's my bonus to hit? No bonus to hit. All right. Cool. But it's boosted, so... It's it's not, no, it's not? Okay. But you get a plus one because you're a choice. Also, so yeah. you get to roll an extra d6 and take a And draw slowest, yep. So nine plus one is ten, plus yep. six is sixteen. Hits. And then the same feel... thing for damage, uh, four d6. This is not a back step. No, excuse me. Three d6, drop lowest. Yep. No, plus four d6, because your virtuoso. virtuoso is on damage. I get boosted damage? From charging? For charging. Yeah. Gotcha. Supreme. Yeah. So remove that one, and you get... So that'll be 10 plus 18 damage. Uh, do you add the one from... Oh, 19 damage. It goes down. <laughs> and then I stab the second one in the face. Uh, I got three fives on that one. So nice. 16. Hits. And I get a... It doesn't matter. And then I deal, um, 17 damage. Hit, it's dead. I have 19 damage. Dead. Oh, God, still dead. Dead. Stab it in the face. Your sound effects make this fight so much better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Brit, it's your turn. Unless, of course, Ryan has anything else to do. Okay, Brit, it's your turn. Are you going to charge at something? Yeah, charge for my legs. Just realized I took out. She's all the way over here. You might. She might end up hitting a certain speed. I might be in range. Oh, yeah. I'm in range to hit it! Oh, yeah! Yay! You want to mention it? No, I'm driving my target. No. I'm in range to throw an X. Fuck, I'm old. I ain't that old. I mean, I'm that old. I'm that old. I was going to say, I'm that old. Question. Yes. After I throw the X, do I have to, like, spend an action to, like, go hit it back? Yeah. Yeah. You're, like, three I'm a, months younger than me. I'm going to throw an X. <laughs> oh, <darling>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only person in this room. Yeah, no, wait, Jake 13. is. Oh, darling. By a month. By a month. My exactly. Wait, how old are you two? 32. I'm going to throw an axe at it. You throw an axe? Yes. Julia, I do also have a portable charger because if you had to need it. Because, because I can also use them as a melee weapon. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Axes are great. Yeah. All right. Then you can this yell, one. I'm going to axe him a question. Axe at his face. Yeet. Okay, you're going to axe him a question. I'm going to axe him a question to okay. his face. Okay, so axe roll it for me. Yeet. It's going to be your rat, I believe. Even better. I'm going to ask you a question. Is this Yeet or Yoda? It's not past that. Did so someone yeet. say, ask you a question? Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you a hatchet? 
This was my anniversary present to Brendan. It's a tactical axe. And his really? reaction was brilliant. You got me an axe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I rolled five. And I add my rat. Why? Eleven. Oh, oh, that's not a hunting knife. Like Doesn't an eleven that. hit? No, an eleven does not hit. It's okay. Uh, but you can no, send right. a feet point. Oh, you yeah. can send a feet point to re-roll. I'm going to send a feet point to re-roll. Yeah. There's another thing. I made sure to get him the one that had the hit. bottle opener. Yes. What? A fourteen hits. Take time. Play like a yeah. It basically means don't be afraid to oh, wait, put your body on the line. Or this one. It's the only one I can reach. Don't be a pair of balls. Anything. Like, my proverbial dick is bigger than that. So I roll and add my cow? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're She's a mighty gobber. Mighty gobber? You're you got a problem with that? You, you need to start calling her the gobstopper. No, I'm surprised. <laughs> I like right? I was too. Because, like, I thought that race wouldn't have access to bite The one thing that they can't get is gifted. gifted. Wow. One thing. But do you know what can be gifted? Um, Friendship. Uh, <laughs> 13 damage. Uh, no, 13 from, damage? Uh, okay. Um, is does it have an accent in its face? Pogrin, which are the um, swamp version of Jobbers. Oh. Yeah, that's a dick. Is it 13 damage? Mm-hmm. It has an axe in its face and then and then starts hissing at you uh, with yeah. the axe in its face. Now it's just really bad. Guys, I need it's that paper. <laughs> well, let's go get, get it. it. It's okay. It's about to deliver back to you. Don't worry about it. Excellent. Was that for a throne Delivery attack? Yep. Yeah, I threw it yeah. at that one. <laughs> Delivery service. Delivery service. No, no, no. It's, it's your it's returning axe. <laughs> it's not delivery. It's a Burrogar. 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 Mog. Mog. Words. They're hard. It's okay. There's weirder things in there, like a throne. Okay. Enjoy. They, just, they just put burka and bowels together, didn't they? Thralls are terrifying to people who use magic. Yeah. Because they eat magic. They're are going to try and go they past sound like me? No, I will smack them. no, they're <laughs> going at you. Okay, let's go. I'm going to go at you. Let's go, bitch. Let me just stand on my friend's they body They basically, here. uh, they're trying to be base to base, but... His, I mean, his, I his Doom Reaver sword kind of gets in the way. <laughs> hey, I, I, you know, some fun. people think that that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. It's always helpful Doom have... Reavers are fun. Uh, that, that's I, I, I kind of wish I would have played them. It's always helpful to have reach. I should have been a Doom Reaver duelist is what I should have done. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> right? Some people tell you'll die for it. Some people born to dance. I'm really creepy, and you may take jokes. <laughs> okay, so the Perfect. first one is going to attack Mori. Yep. Your defense? Oh, your boy. defense. Yeah, okay. Just tell me the number, and I will tell you if it <laughs> It'll probably hit. Does a... 11 hit. Yes. What? Really? Okay. Target number is 10. <laughs> Even without his armor, 11 is, would have been the target number. So yes. Mm-hmm. You hit. Mori, does a nine get three armor? No. <laughs> Change. <laughs> okay. That tickled. Let's go, bitch. So the first one kind of comes up and like noms on your armor and like you can see like the, like it's like trying to like get through the armor. Okay, so my armor, by the way, is just my kill. <laughs> it's you know, trying to get through. Most... Most... on the huge swing and you know most of it's trying to get through? The, 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 high. Yeah, yeah, the, the actual... The second one is going to come up using gangs and is going to get a plus one bonus to everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's fine. We can both get that. No, the first one does not. Gangs will go slice the arm. Oh, but the other one, basically, I, I was moving them all as a group. But one move. That but, we'll, but, we'll, but technically, like, yeah. Y'all know the rules better than I do. <laughs> Mori does a... Wow. This is a 10 hit. Yes, yes on the nose. Because we didn't need a beat. Oh, I'm sorry. 11 would hit. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck! Good damage? Does a 16 get past the armor? Ooh. Yeah. By how much? Four. Oh my Where's it going? Thinking about him. So this is where this matters. It's going to the four. All right, so it's where's it going? Four. Okay, so that was their turn. Okay, so well, actually, I get the since they move near me, can I like hit them oh, now? One's your turn. Yes. Because 
could they move near me? Is that that not? No, no. Like, if they move past you, yeah. it's attack of opportunity. All right. That's fine. Because you don't, them. you don't have a folks like you. Okay, I'll just. <laughs> Next up is going to be Jake. Yes. yes. Um, one of them is for my free action. No, I'm gonna go ahead. No, one, 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 oh, maybe that's the damage. It's got a range of ten. I think I got it. But that one that has axe in its face, this one. Yeah. Yeah. I they were and this is the one that doesn't have axe in its face? That is the one that does not have an axe in the face. Okay. Axe in the face. So not axe in the face. For kids! I think I got ten inches, but <laughs> we can double check. It's like knife wrench for kids. Cool. You probably do. Uh, yeah, if you're yeah, that looks like ten inches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I four gamed enough to work. I have a pretty good okay. judgment on this stuff. No um I'm gonna cast convection. Ooh. What about conduction? What, what about is, radiation? What, is, what does convection what do? It's, it is the it's an attack spell. It's okay. a PAL 12, and it costs two focus, so yeah. And let's and do you this. You probably don't even need to boost your attack, to be honest. No. Wait, what's your arcane? My arcane is, is, two, is a three. Boost? I boosted three. it by okay. one, but three I wanted to... Plus three. I think you can hit it. Well, plus I have combat caster, so I roll three dice and drop lower. So but I think you can hit it. Yeah. Okay. And what is it? Is it arcane plus eight? So, oh, that's not great. That's Wait. eleven. Hey, eleven, twelve. Because my plus one. Twelve. That would not hit. Okay. Oh, and you, know, you can spend a feet point to re-roll that. I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say my roll. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus thirteen. Thirteen. Hits. Okay. Oh, yeah. Shred him. So it's a PAL 12, and I only get it for the attack roll for we combat should, caster. We so. call, uh, IG Shredder. Ooh. Um, oh, no, he'd be more like Masher. Yeah, that would just, be 20, all of his plus fingers. 9 plus 12, so 21. <laughs> yeah, it just... Red mist, what, what does Convection do? Is it like a, a fire <laughs> spell? or Yeah. What? And if it, you like... This one? No, this one. Yeah, I'm going to shoot him with my pistol. So the idea is basically convection. If we had a warjack, I could just be like, I killed a guy. I get to put one focus on my warjack. Yep. Okay. So when we get a warjack, we'll, we'll, we'll work on getting a warjack. I feel like they should use a different scientific term. Okay. okay. It's all Later. Good. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and just shoot my normal pistol. At, spell was at axe action. in the face guy? At axe in the face okay. guy. Okay. That's a good call. I did it on him because it's the high morning. Is it because he's going to eat the gobber? Oh, no, I was going to say he could have shot the pistol at the ones that are engaging Not, Mori, but then... Don't worry about it. Then... I got oh, no. He'd be fine. He's in my um, command range. I'm a battlefield coordinator. He doesn't have to worry about shooting into, or firing into melee penalty. Good to know. Yeah. That's why I Holy battle. shit. That's why I went intellectual. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought I had it. <laughs> just I just thought we, have so, we had so many 14 range, to hit. I'm like, oh, no. 14 to hit? Yeah. It's hits. Okay. Melee. Okay, power power power. Power. I, mean, I have gunfire. Seventeen. Yeah. Seventeen to hit or damage. Seventeen damage. It goes down. It's super dead. And since I got the reroll, I get my key point back. Hell yeah! So that was all those dudes on that side, right? Yep. You're only the two dudes with me. Okay. Oh man. Your axe perm is dead. You need the axe. It took a bullet to the face. Okay, uh, Christina, you're next. Oh, next are you going to get your axe? Cool. Yeah, I'm going to do it with my axe. There are two burrow mogs left. It's just these two focus, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting on one focus. I, I already know they're in You can only stay in range, so you don't have to worry this about this one. Because this one is blocked, blocked by line of sight. Well, That's yeah, the that's problem. Line of sight. Line of sight. That's right. Okay. That's I literally I'm have one right there. I can handle the other one. I can literally, literally just... We'll tilt this, so... Can't handle two, two dudes at the oh, same time? Oh, I can. Time. <laughs> it's all good. I got this. So, six, six, and a one. Box stars! It's box, it's box stars. He's Double Holy shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, you hit. You hit. Yeah, see, but you don't know how many times you total? No. Was if it's box cars, then you hit. <laughs> so it's one of the most satisfying rolls to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would suck. Okay, that's uh, okay. I can handle eight... Uh, 18 points It goes down. That's also, awesome. it gets, it gets pushed back into the... So the other one gets okay. corpse on it. <laughs> How far does that one go? I want to find out. Five. So it goes back three inches. inches. So it goes past <laughs> that one. <laughs> 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 Sounds like a sack of spuds just reload. hit the ground. <laughs> 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 Sounds like a sack of spuds just hit the ground. 
Okay? <laughs> and then it is Mori's turn. This is the one that uh, is hanging on your kill. Damn giant swinging gonads. Why did you roll three? Because I have mighty. That's to hit. No, that's for damage. To hit is still two. You're right. It's fine. I'm still sending a feet point. One more feet point. <laughs> <laughs> there. Better. Okay. 16. <laughs> you hit. Yep. Well, 13. 15, so. 19. <laughs> yep, it's dead. <laughs> you just kind of like kick it off <laughs> and then like punch it. Here's the great thing about that ogre war cleaver. It's, be- it's that much damage because it's two handed. Brendan, the base power on my mage block pistol is 10. Yeah, yeah the base armor on rolling, these guys is 10. And then I'm rolling 3. 3d6. Three yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my, my lightning bolt right now is base 10 or 13 if I use okay. it. Okay. I get, get boosted damage back? rolls. Yes, you do get a feat point back. I didn't even spend anything. You know what's great about <laughs> That's <laughs> really uh, common with uh with what? gun mages Never from what I've played. <laughs> Because it's 3d6 plus ridiculous storm physics skill. Yeah, and then yeah like they're all dead. dead. I'm going to get my yes, you go retrieve your yeah, axe. That's really good. You make the um, money. If you have ahead. taken any damage, any damage, that only go to you. Okay, it's gain your physique back in health for not going down in combat. I'm sorry, what? Your physique number, which is 6, yeah. you would regain that. So all four of those little hash marks go away. Do you want me to medicine okay. you also? No, I don't need it. All right. Okay. Yes, that is a key thing. Um, if you did not go down in combat, so you, you guys, as per the contract, take the uh, what remains of the Alpha Burrow Mogs and head back into town. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming they don't have anything of value on. Can I take your souls? Um. I mutilate the bodies and look for gold. Wait. I mean, the door <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What pouches? Wait. <laughs> don't forget to check butt flaps. <laughs> Does anyone have like any kind of like lore roll that they want to make on it or anything like that? What? I don't got oh, anything but the lore. There's the lore. There's the lore. There's the lore. Yeah. yeah there's the lore. <laughs> <laughs> All I got is lore. Oh, you lore know lore you're lore. a combat party. Kind of like <laughs> I will point out that one of them, if it does have gold on it, that gold's probably not doing too hot <laughs> since uh, it did get zapped by lightning. Mm-hmm. Uh, At least four of them have that. Um, if the would any gold. of their body parts have blood or anything <laughs> gold be like, useful? Roll me no, your intelligence. Alright. Wait, can I roll that too? Do I do that? Or... Just yeah. In what are you doing? How many? 2d6. Which is always the base. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Five. Fourteen. Oh, Oh, you're just doing I a know, standard I'm so mm-hmm. yeah, I'm up. I'm only down. <gasps> to let you know, Burmog adrenal glands are extremely profitable and are used in the creation of some alchemical compounds. Okay, so but I can get them sweet. all. It'd be like... Mm-hmm. Well, it totally makes sense okay. that you know that. Do, yeah. do you know how to get the adrenal glands? Butt pouches! Do I have medicine? Does that help? Yeah. Okay. Does anybody have survival? No. There you go. <laughs> Make me a survival roll. See, I've been playing Borderlands you want. 3 lately. Or right. and they <laughs> right. should have shotguns on them. I know that. Yeah, right. I know that for a fact. If you have another key point, you can <laughs> boost as well. For some mysterious right, reason, they have one one shotguns and pistols and stuff. Right. Like the hand cannon I want. Oh. Seven. Seven plus, plus five. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. Um, you successfully harvest oh, yeah. the adrenal glands from both of the alphas. So you hear a successful, you have to be point back. Because you got double And players. when you do that, as you're going through the rest of them, um, you do teams. you do actually notice that they've indiscriminately eaten a bunch of jewelry <laughs> as well. Oh that if you don't mind spending the time to clean it off, can get the group an extra ten gold on you're their. Uh, that. Sure. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. Fine. We're gonna add that to the. Yeah, yeah. Put that in the finances area. Yep. That's the to the group. Ten gold a Party person funds. per the. That's person. what it is. Yeah, ten gold a person. Ten gold, ten gold a person. person. So it's something. You're basically around. like, oh hey look, I found your wedding mm-hmm. band that, that a burrow mog ate, and the guy goes, oh my god, that's so great! I'll give you a tip. Hey, I found your mother. I found your grandma's like pearl necklace. This Awkward. is gross, but it's thank you. In poop. Thank you. Why does it smell? No, no, it just gets stuck in their digestive tract. It doesn't. It's not covered in poop. Oh. It's like why does it smell like it's bottom? Why is it slightly pink? Yes. So we're getting an additional ten gold a piece on top of a forty gold a piece. Yep. 
Now, which one of them what ate is that? Oh, the party funds or going to You do find a couple of triggers, but you can't find the rest of the team. Are you going to make me get the hand cannon piece by piece? Maybe. Okay, two group, two party funds. Anyone else in party fund? Three. The party fund is going also towards your warjacks. That's why I'm asking if anyone else is going. Oh, no. Is that not you? might actually be able to be there every other Sunday. Hi guys, Brendan here with all the legal mumbo jumbo. The theme song for this campaign is Red the Hunter by the Zombie Dandies. Other music in this episode was provided by X Taker UX and Spectacular Sound Productions. If you liked what you heard, give us a follow on wherever you're getting your podcast from. And if you're on iTunes, we'd love it if you could give us a review. Five stars really helps us get out to more ears. You can send questions for our banter podcast to a pair of dice lost at gmail.com. For more updates, you can also follow me at a pair of dice lost on Twitter and Julia at GM Crow One. And finally, for making it this far into the podcast, I wanted to let you know, yes, you, you just got a feet point back.